Hi, in this video, we will see how to configure COSAIC system for effective leave management. Leave management is the fundamental task of HR department of any organization. Obviously, it becomes a vital part of any time attendance system. The advanced features of COSAIC address all the aspects of leave management and provide a complete solution. Leave management is a part of time attendance module of COSAIC. There are two main steps of leave management module. Defining and grouping leave masters and leave balance management. Let's consider an example of leave management of ABC Limited and configure it in COSAIC web application. Leave structure of ABC Limited. Paid leaves. Casual leave. 30 leaves. 2.5 leaves per month applicable to all the employees maternity leave 12 weeks applicable only to female employees official tour or on duty leave applicable to all the employees official tour or duty on week offs or holidays can be applied as compensatory of compensatory of leave applicable to all the employees unpaid leaves can be taken on approval applicable to all the employees policies leaves can be clubbed with any other leaves that is can be taken consecutively with any other leaves Prior leave entry allowed for all the leaves. Encashment is allowed for all paid leaves. There is no accumulation check on any leave. This parameter enables HR department to put a limit on leave balance. That is, no employee can keep more than a certain number of leaves in his balance. Leave balance cannot be forwarded to next year. It means that all balance paid leaves need to be encashed at the end of the year. Week offs and holidays are allowed in case leave is taken on either or both sides. Now let's see how to configure this requirement stepwise. Let's perform the first step. Log in to COSEC web application as system administrator. Go to leave management section. Expand masters and select leave click add new to define a new leave note that leave id can be of up to two characters and leave name can be of up to 30 characters let us define the leave casual leave with id cl select suitable type of the leave in this case, paid leave. Then, select the allowed users from all, male or female. This option is significant in the case of gender-specific leaves. Check allowed with other leaves option. Selecting prior leave entry allowed option will allow the leave to be applied prior to the leave date. For example, if the user wants to take leave on 15th June, he may apply leave on 13th June or any previous date. Leave balance check option maintains leave balance month wise. It allows other balance related rules to get enabled. For example, in this case, we need to credit 2.5 leaves to the casual leave balance each month. Keep the flag balance carried to next year disabled as according to our requirement leave balance cannot be forwarded to next year. Checking the encashment allowed enables the encashment policy. Hence, the employees are paid in return of paid leaves not availed. To fulfill our requirement, let's check it.
using week off and holiday club and cover rules we can define the policy of allowing paid offs in case of availing paid leave on one side or on both the sides let me explain suppose week off allowed in case of leave on single side flag is checked now if the leave is taken on monday and sunday is working off sunday will be considered as week off by the system but if this flag is not checked the employee has to apply for a leave for sunday too next consider that week off allowed in case of leave on both sides is checked in this case if the employee has applied for leave on saturday and monday sunday is allowed as week off similarly by checking or unchecking these flags we can define policies for clubbing leave on single side or both the side of holidays defined in the holiday schedule same way let's define other leaves Now let's go to the next option leave group we can add a new group or edit the default leave group 1 let's add all the leaves then we need to assign this leave group to the organization and ultimately to its users as normally leave policies are common for an organization for this go to home page and select enterprise structure then click organization let's select abc limited click this link to choose the leave group we have defined finally save the page please note that to define totally different leaves for another group of users we need to define a different leave group and assign that let's see the second step click balance management this option is relevant to manage the amount of leaves opening balance option is used for entering an amount of leaves as an initial balance this option is normally used for leaves which are credited annually then let's see credit or debit option this is used to credit or debit leaves any time to or from the existing leave balance we can use this option for a single user or multiple users select the user id month leave entry type as credit or debit for credit entry select the method from fixed or policy based in case of fixed credit scheme enter the number of days in case of policy based credit select the policy for crediting leaves for the case of our example we have fixed to credit 2.5 leaves each month so let's enter that use the encashment option for encashing the leaves we can select single or multiple user categories in case of single user we can select a particular user additionally we need to select the month year leave and number of days we can select option of either defined or available in case of defined days option we need to specify the days for which encashment is to be given 
If available option is chosen, the system encaches all the available leaves. In case of multiple users, we can select all users, groupwise users or randomly select them to form a miscellaneous list. Next option is application or approval which is useful for applying or approving leave for users. Note that these options are also available in COSEC Employee Self Service ESS wherein the employee can himself apply for leave. Now we are done with the configuration part of leave management for ABC Limited. Let's see other related options. Using the view section, we can view leave balance of any user for a particular month. Finally, there is a reports section using which we can see different master and transaction reports of users. This way, we have seen the leave management using COSIC web application. I hope this video will be quite useful to you. Thank you for being with me. If you need more help, please contact Metrics Technical Support.